Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. You guys, I have just got home from a shoot. It has been a really long day and as you can see, I have full face of makeup. Um, some of it rubbed off a little bit with the mask. Uh, also, I have eaten some food, but yeah, I had a bridal shoot today. I'm gonna insert a few little clips from the shoot because it was so fantastic, the dresses that I had. Uh, you might have seen them actually on my Instagram recently. I posted a little reel, but today I thought I'm gonna share with you my little um, kind of like a ritual in the evening that I do if I had a really long day this is what I kind of turn to and I want some extra relaxation so I am going to do my whole face routine with you and also I'm going to do a little treatment that is quite interesting that I haven't shown on this channel before so I think maybe some of you will find it quite interesting I'm also going to jump in the shower quickly before I do that but I'm actually not going to wash my hair because I have another shoot tomorrow and they asked me to style my own hair because this is what is happening quite a lot during lockdown uh, and during COVID they are kind of cutting down on makeup artists and hairstylists so we need to um, a lot of the times do a bit of our own hair or makeup depending on a shoot um, not on the big ones but a lot of the ecom ones so yeah i'm still in my tracksuit uh, because usually i just put something really comfy on so i am going to jump in the shower quickly and then i will see you in a second I have jumped out of the shower. I have double cleansed in shower uh, to take my makeup off. I used a cleansing balm and then I used my Clarisonic brush with a water-based cleanser just to get rid of all of the makeup and there were quite a lot of it. So now I'm just gonna clean um, my eyes because there's quite a lot of mascara and eyeliner. So I just gently pat and then we will get on with the routine. So it's quite difficult to clean everything off your eyes in the shower. I try not to rub my eyes with cleansers. So I think my eyes are clean now. And the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a mask as this is a bit longer, a bit of a more relaxing routine. And I'm gonna be using the Sutana Kaffir Lime Turmeric and Rice Mask. This is a powder mask that you mix yourself. And I really like masks like that for several reasons. One is they last you quite a long time and you can really control how much mask you can make. Because sometimes I multi-mask, so I will only put a certain mask on my chin or on my t-zone and then I will put a moisturizing one on my cheeks or maybe a calming one today I'm after something cooling something uh, more of an antiseptic and uh, calming properties so this definitely has all of these this also has antifungal properties um, so it's a really nice detoxifying mask but at the same time um, it will really cleanse your pores you know it will clean your skin and that is what I'm after today I always try to have a more of a cleansing mask rather than a moisturizing mask after a shoot because I feel like I have so much makeup on me so what I usually do is I take a little dip and then I put four to eight teaspoons and then I apply a couple of teaspoons of water so again totally depends on how um, much mask you need to make but it's just a powdery consistency super easy to use and comes in a little glass bottle like this so I'm gonna put a little bit of water in. this actually smells incredible by the way as you're mixing it you're having a bit of aromatherapy moment um, this is made with rice powder jasmine rice powder and then it also has um, it has turmeric it has mulberry leaf um, it has kaffir lime hence the amazing smell so just get it to the consistency that you want and this kind of mask is amazing for acne prone skin um, for mature skin as well and I always feel like I need more cleansing after shoot so I'm gonna use a brush so I take it on the brush and then I just apply it all over my face also has a bit of that exfoliating effect because of the rice powder but it feels so 
cooling and so refreshing on the skin and I don't know about you guys but when I wear a lot of makeup my face almost gets hot that's why I really like something kind of like calming and cooling so this is kind of this is absolutely perfect for this occasion so i'm gonna leave it for about 20 25 minutes and actually all the products that i'm going to be showing you today are from sutana and the reason for that is is because i actually ordered a few different products because it's a brand that has a much more holistic approach to beauty which i really like and what we're going to be doing today is warm compressions so this is the exciting bit for me i mean this is really exciting i love this mask i have been using all of the products for about a month now hence i decided to do the video now um, because I always try to give it a good couple of weeks, three to four weeks before I can actually share anything on my channel. <laughs> I've got a bit of mask on my lip, also beneficial, might as well keep it there. Um, but I always try to give it like a good month before I can give you a recommendation or any kind of opinion because otherwise I feel like I base the opinion on a first impression and a first impression is not always um, the true one because your skin might react in a couple of days so this is a warm compression little pocket or a little bag and what you do with this is you can steam it in a steam basket or you can microwave it after you have soaked it in water so mine has been in the fridge um, i store it in a zip bag in the fridge so i'm gonna soak it and then i'm gonna steam it but we're gonna get to that after the mask but this is amazing not only for the face but i love using it i will show it to you on my neck and on my shoulder area this is great for releasing tension releasing stress just having that me time, that me moment. And this is the reason why I ended up ordering all the products because I was very, very interested in this. I never used warm compressions before by myself at home. I have only had them done in the salon. It's very compact. They also have a bigger body one. This one is great for like smaller areas, but you can absolutely use it. Maybe you have sore legs, sore calves. Um, this is great as well. And the smell of this is amazing again because it again has ginger, turmeric and kaffir lime. So you're getting that aromatherapy. So if you are a spa kind of person, this will be right up your street. So I'm going to go and chill for 20 minutes and then I will come back and we will continue with this routine. I swear I could have fallen asleep on that sofa right now. But we need to finish this routine because I was so relaxed lying there listening to some music and now i'm gonna wash the mask off uh, because i can't really move my face it has dried a bit so i'm gonna wash it off and then just clean everything with a little muslin cloth So I've washed it off, my skin feels really nice and clean but not tight which I really like. So I'm just going to spritz my face, um, I've got this little spray, it's called Wild Crafted Botanical Plants Repair and Hydrate Mist. It's got a really nice like a full mister, a very fine, not full, fine mister. So I just spray it all over my face, wipe it off my mouth but it actually smells very tasty it it makes me hungry every time i spray it on me it's got pandan leaf and um i think it's got chinese violets and some other stuff that is just so beautiful and aromatic by the way all this stuff is vegan and cruelty free um and yeah you get a really nice spritzy glass bottle i'm just gonna spray a little bit more i feel like i missed a little bit here um but yeah really really love it i love using it after gym and workouts it is so refreshing and i kind of sprayed all over my body as well um some people might think it's wasteful but at the end of the day i buy products to use them so next thing we're gonna do is the compression so as you can see i have steamed my little my little cushion my little compression and it smells incredible and you need to allow it to cool to the temperature where you can handle it on your skin so it's not burning you i always um, wrap a little kind of like a tissue around um, or rather a 
cloth <laughs> around it so it's not burning my my hand but I'm gonna start with my neck and I like to start at the back of my neck and then just kind of in sweeping motions you can just hold it where you're feeling a lot of tension and then just sweep down I absolutely love this on my neck and on my shoulders um, you can use a bigger one like I said they actually sell a bigger one and I think I'm gonna get a bigger one next because I think I would love this on my hips I get a lot of tightness in my hips but really you can go anywhere with this if you're holding a lot of tension in your shoulders and you can re-steam it again if it's not feeling warm anymore it's very easy to use somebody else could do it for you which is really nice as well but i would spend a little bit of time on my neck and on my shoulders and then i move on onto my face and i usually hold it onto my temples for a couple of seconds this is so lovely um so beautiful to just feel that aroma and that warmth after a long day if you're feeling tired and then you can also go in circular motions and then I usually go under my ears and down because this also promotes lymphatic drainage and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you will know that I'm all for lymphatic drainage so a couple of sweeps here and then I go from the forehead onto my temple in very feather like motion so I'm not scratching my skin with it I'm just applying that heat very slowly it's really good to hold it onto your congested areas so if you suffer from allergies or sinuses congestions you can just hold it here and then switch to the other side this is really good as well for depuffing dark circles if your skin will get a little bit red that is absolutely normal because obviously you are applying heat so don't be discouraged and then it's really nice between the brows as well circular motions all over the brows towards the temple just a couple of sweeps like this just a really nice little ritual something different so you can go through your whole face if you clench your jaws like I do I usually hold it here while the chewing muscle is and just circular motion here this is really lovely to do before bed um, because I grind my teeth at night I have to wear retainers so this always gives me a much better night's sleep uh, when I do this little ritual introduce it into any step of your routine but skincare routine but i like to do it after the cleanse after a mask um, and then i go with all my hydration deep breath in just inhaling that ginger and turmeric so i'm going to finish it here as much as i would love to continue and then i'm going to put it back into my little ziploc and then i will put it in the fridge until the next time I use it and I'm gonna finish off with some oil because I really need hydration after everything I've done and I'm using the ginger and turmeric nourishing facial oil so it comes in a glass bottle with a little dropper I always recommend not applying the dropper directly onto your face I recommend applying things um, onto your hands and then either pressing or sweeping onto your face you can go with a bit of a massage. I have videos for a full massage routine. This is super light. This absorbs very easily into the skin and doesn't leave that greasy feeling. Don't forget about the neck. I'm just gonna get a few drops for my chest and my neck. Just gonna knuckle it in. I really like using my knuckles on my chest. And that is it, you guys. So close all my oils I have had quite a bad accident the other day when I didn't close my oil and now it's kind of created a very interesting um, illustration on my wall which I don't think my landlord will be happy with but 
hey. This is rich in vitamin A and vitamin E, but also has antibacterial properties. So um, really lovely oil, hasn't broken me out once, which is impressive considering a lot of oils do break me out. So um, this is staying on my top shelf 100% and I will be repurchasing when it is finished. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little ritual with me if you have any questions at all about anything that i mentioned or showed uh, pop them in the comment section below i also have a 15 percent off discount i'm going to put it on the screen and i'm also going to leave all the details all the links in the description box below so check it out um, and i hope you're having a wonderful day i'm gonna go and finish my tea uh, probably watch the master chef and then go to sleep so i hope you're well thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me and i hope to see you guys soon on my channel and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you soon bye